Paweł Borowski, I'm from Poland. I'm uh, the director of the I am Lang now, which is in the competition. Competition for the Audience Award and for the Volkswagen Financial Services Award, right. What is your film about? I hate this kind this kind of questions. <laughs> oh, it's about us, I hope. About our reality or unreality around us. I read that you already um, wrote the screenplay, so the script of the whole film. What was this process like? If you say it's about big questions in life, like reality, what is real, what is not real, what is life in the end, how did you write the script? Oh, I started from the very simple uh, notice that uh, sometimes it's the same fact which can uh, be treated as a brick try to imagine one brick which is always the same and we are putting the, that brick in different situations different contexts and the meaning of that brick uh, changes and it was very interesting for me because we are living in a fake news era we are living in the era where, where where you uh, cannot judge what the truth is and what is not. And even if you know the facts, it's very difficult to, to judge about what the truth is, because that the fact is uh, just a brick in the sea of contexts. And this is This is my main core or source of this idea, I can say. How was working with the actors? When you say the fact is only a brick in a context, what are actors then? Are they also just bricks in a bigger context? I think uh, because the formula of the movie uh, is that everything is a fiction. So... Uh, I think the the actors and uh, everything else, of course, should be kind of agreement with the audience that we are trying to to say something uh, which is unexisting. I mean, starts from the uh, actor's performance, ending with uh, entire reality which we created for the movie. What was most challenging during shooting process? Where did you shoot actually? Uh, maybe I start from interiors, which were mostly built or adapted. There is no, probably, there is no interior as it was so uh, sometimes it, we can use only one wall or something like that and uh, in terms of uh, exteriors it was uh, it was shooted on Silesia mainly and uh, we had four days in Netherlands because it's uh, co-production with Netherlands so, so we did some stuff there And talking about challenges, what, was there anything surprising during shooting process in working with actors or the places where you shooted? I think the, the main challenge was the money, as always. <laughs> Because for uh, this is a kind of production, production uh, I can say the sky is the limit, so, uh, but we, unfortunately, we didn't have sky, so <laughs> it was a challenge. How was your team? Was it international? Did you know some of the people yet you worked with? Yeah, uh, it was an uh, international team, 
It was uh, partially from Poland and uh, partially from Netherlands. From Poland, uh, it was even few debuts like uh, uh, production design or uh, uh, makeup. And from uh, Netherlands, for example, uh, for example, it was uh, editor and sound and engineer. So um, yeah, it was a pretty nice experience. I guess you have already screened your film in Poland. How were reactions there? I think uh, mixed from uh, uh, from the very bad reactions we with uh, uh, I can say with the, with the feeling that what well, what what it was to uh, even psycho fun emotions so um, I think it's 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 pretty difficult to uh, because if, if you are expecting something which is just a story it isn't and I remember one uh, screening just after I finished my sound in Netherlands and we invited few uh, I can say blank people uh, without any knowledge about the script, about the idea, anything. <clears throat> and we asked them after the screening what, uh, uh, what, what they feel about that movie. And I remember one sentence which, uh, which is really strong and important for me. Uh, which was, uh, it's not a movie, it's an experience. And it was so heart touching for me. So, uh, and I, I think it's very smart. Talking about reactions, you already had your first screening yesterday at the first day of the festival. How were reactions from our festival in Braunschweig? Well, uh, I think, uh, as I said, it's. It's not a instant reaction movie, so uh, I'm very happy that uh, some people, um, even after Q&A, uh, asked me some questions more in more private area, like a corridor. So um, it was really nice. So I, yeah, I'm I'm waiting for next screenings, and we'll see. What is your general feeling with the festival? You've been already yesterday here, like I said. How long are you staying and what is your feeling? Uh, I think it's uh, really nice and uh, I'm just from yesterday's evening, so uh, it's hard to judge. <laughs> but uh, uh, as far, uh, I think it's, it's great, so uh, we'll see. Have you any further questions? Um, no, sorry. Have you any further projects coming up in the next months or weeks? When do we have the next opportunity to see a film in Germany, apart from festivals, I guess? Yeah, we'll see. I'm working on something, so so we'll see. <laughs> Sounds like a big promise. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy your stay here at Braunschweig Festival and. See you soon. Thank you for your film and thank you for being in this competition. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks a lot.